Welcome back to Love Island Friends. I decided not to do that um, witch choice, witch saga story game, the horror game, just because as I started to get like, like even just in the beginning, the first chapter, I was like, this just feels like I'm reading a story. It doesn't feel like I'm playing a game and there's no pictures besides the the chapter picture i didn't go past the first choice but it just it felt like something i would read before i go to sleep i felt like i was gonna get tired just reading so at least you know with games like like love island or episode whatever there's something to look at besides my face reading something and i don't know it just felt a little exhausting and it was only one story that i was interested on that app so i decided not to do it but we're back to Love Island, <laughs> season one, day three, episode 14. Art and graft, Allegra's reckoning. Allegra decides it's time to settle the score. After the painting challenge, the Islanders return to the villa. All day, Allegra's been telling Josa to keep away from Mason. And I have. Looks like Mason didn't get that memo though. As you arrive at the entrance, Mason bounds over and falls into step beside you. Hey. Hey ya. The other islanders troop past you into the villa. You spot Allegra right at the back of the pack. I was just gonna head inside. Sure, okay. I just wanted to say something real quick. Allegra breaks off talking to Jen and walks towards you and Mason. I just wanna say like, Allegra's coming over. Oh my God, that's so funny. See you later, bye. <laughs> you make a move towards the door, but Allegra intercepts you. Wow, are you literally running away from me? Yeah. Actually, no, I'm running away from your man cause I don't. Don't want to talk to him. Guilty conscience much? Hey babe, it's not like that. Me and Joseph were just... Allegra sighs. We need to talk, honey. Really? Again? Not me and you. Me and him. She drags Mason inside. Yikes. The paint-covered islanders are recovering from the day's exertions. Most of them were lying around on the lawn, but not everyone is quiet in the villa. Look out, Joseph. Allegra's on the prowl. Right. What do I want to do now? Out of the hot afternoon haze, Allegra comes striding towards you. Um, Josa, can we have a word? Sure. Thanks. I feel like we have the same conversation every time. Can we talk? Sure. Thanks. This morning, when I did the reasonable diplomatic thing and asked you what your plans for Mason were, you said that you weren't interested in him. But then today, you've spent so much time with him. It wouldn't even be a problem if you, like, just admitted that you were into him. Are you accusing me of being snaky? Yes, babes, I am, snaking around behind my back. What have you been told? I don't understand. Oh my god, I see it all now. When I spoke to you yesterday and told you to leave off Mason and you were all chill about it, that was a lie, wasn't it? That's why you've been grafting so hard on him. Allegra's still accusing me. I'm not into Mason. No, I don't know where you've got the idea. Come on, give me more credit than that. It's obvious. Obvious how? I feel like my actual personality is coming out when I'm reading this because I'm actually mad at this. <laughs> From everything. Anyway, Mason is in charge of his own life. Why aren't you having this conversation with him? You realize that the other islanders are all watching this from the loungers and the bar and the roof terrace. Mason is in the kitchen. He's trying to come and join you, but Levi is holding him back with a hand on his shoulder. Listen, if I've learned anything in my life, it's... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Listen, Josa, it's... Mason pulls away from Levi and comes walking towards the pair of you, arms raised. Dudes, can you please chill? Huh, always first to try and break up the fight, aren't you? Look, Allegra, you're being out of line. None of this is Josa's fault. Don't even try it, Mason. You can't deny that you spent a lot of time with Josa. I've been trying to spend time with everyone, babe. Remember how you were all cozy this morning out on the daybeds? Having your little morning graft when everyone else was getting ready? Where's my cozy little tete-a-tete? -tete? Come on guys, chill out please. How dare you tell me to chill out? Whose side are you even on? No side, I'm on no side. I just realized that my my little, my little camera thingy was uneven from the other app still. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, you should be on my side. That's your problem, Mason. You're always in the middle. You never side with anyone. I... I think maybe we should break up. I... I don't... Because we're supposed to be a couple and you can't even back me up. Ugh, I don't even know where my head's at right now. 
I was feeling so good about me and Mason, but now it's like, totally ruined. She looks at him deflated. He avoids making eye contact with either of you. This is it. Right now, I could break them up. Encourage them to stay together. Allegra seems to want to make it work. I think Mason wants to be with me, but at the moment he's trapped. Am I sure backing off is the right thing to do? I was never on. There's nothing to back off from. They'll probably break up anyway at some point, but it might take days. I'm going to encourage them to stay together. You sigh. Allegra, you and Mason can totally make it work. I'm sorry if you think I've been acting snaky, but if you want to make it work, you can make it work. You guys have some stuff to work out between you, but you clearly care a lot about this relationship. That's the most important thing. Mason looks at you, then looks at Allegra. I, I don't even know. What do you think, Allegra? I think Jos is right. I think we should try to make this work. All right. Okay. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, though. I'd better leave them to it. You walk away towards the others. Mason and Allegra are standing on the lawn, looking at each other. After a few minutes, they go into the villa. Okay. Levi, on to you. The one I should be having this problem with because I am trying to steal him. You spot Levi in the bedroom. Oh, hey, Josa. I was hoping to catch you. That outfit is amazing, by the way, even with all the paint. Oh, thanks. How come you're not hanging out with the others? I don't want to get pulled into some long conversation about this thing with Allegra and Mason. I bet they're still talking about it now. Oh, you know it. Are you feeling all right? Am I okay after what happened? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm all right. That thing with Allegra had to happen sometime. It wasn't pleasant, but I'm glad it's over with. She just saw you as a rival at the end of the day. I've had exes like that, all about the drama, always spoiling for a row. You've got to be really careful how you crack on with someone like that. I don't think Mason gets it. I mean, do you have feelings for Mason? Nope. Not at all. Oh, nice. There's a tiny smile in the corner of his mouth. That's a big smile. Excuse me. <laughs> it's kind of Mason's fault the whole thing happened in a way. Like, I think he's a nice guy and a good mate and all, but... He's always trying to please everybody. He never takes anyone's side. He's not a team player. What, and you are? Yeah, I am. Literally, I play on a team for a living. I understand this stuff. Can you count on him to stand up for you? No, you're right. I'm only saying that just because I don't want to be like, I don't want anything to be as if I'm going towards Mason. So I wouldn't actually say that. I don't think he's a bad person. I don't, this sounds like, why wouldn't you be able to count on him just because he's a middle ground person? Levi nods. Yep. Look, I just want to say something, all right? Given that we're in private and everything. He leans forward. He seems restless. I'm not Mason. What do you mean? You know what I mean. There's a pause. Levi looks like he's struggling with something. Maybe... Ah, it's nothing. What? Look, just know that, like, I'm here for you if you ever want to talk about stuff, okay? The lesson here is probably just the villa can mess with your head. If you ever get as upset as that, you can talk to me, all right? I'll be honest about what I think, and I won't spread it all around the villa. We've had some moments, right? You know you can trust me. Do I trust Levi? Yeah, thanks. Cool. Okie dokie, I guess we'll go hear everyone talk about what just happened. The row with Allegra is still ringing in your ears as you collapse onto one of the bean bags with the others. Whoa. Why is there a square over her coochie? What is going on? So, um, Josa, what the hell just happened at the fire pit? Jen wants to know what happened. Some bullshit. <laughs> Jen nods sagely. Oh, come on, don't be all coy. Yeah, we need to know exactly what happened. Even though they saw everything, the group pesters you until you tell them the whole story. And so I left them to it. Well, I'm glad they held it together. Good for them. Poor Allegra, the stress must be really getting to her. The whole thing makes me think I probably won't couple up with Allegra. You've only just made that decision? Well, I see it like this. If she's that jealous, what does that say about her? Has she been stung before, or does she assume everyone is a cheater? I think she's been hurt before. She talked about it in when we first met, right? Her man was cheating with his personal trainer or something? I think that's right. She's probably just been hurt in the past, so she's cautious. I don't blame her. 
Where are they right now anyway? I think I saw them head up to the dressing room, a bit more private. Oh my god, in all the excitement, I totally forgot we were getting new Islanders this evening. God, that could make some waves. Josa, Jasper, Allegra, and Mason all have their relationships in tatters. This could really shake things up. Everyone nods. There's a thoughtful silence. We need a new word for when someone gets super aggro. Don't we already have go from zero to 60? I've been saying that. Like, wow, he just went from zero to 60. I had no idea that was a thing. How did I miss that? Getting leggy. That should be it. Leggy, like Allegra, but it also sounds like Aggie. That's actually pretty funny. When someone's about to kick off, you can be like, don't get leggy. Allegra's going to go from zero to 60 when she hears that. I just realized I forgot to turn off the sounds again. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's quite enough drama for me. My little heart can't take it. Coming up next on Love Island. Two new islanders get everyone in a fluster. And Josa makes her move. You won't want to miss it. On to the next episode. The party. Things get hot and heavy on the roof terrace. What a day it's been in the villa. The islanders got all covered in paint. Levi swam in the pool. Tim made a sandwich. Oh, and there was the small matter of Allegra and Mason, who would have broken up if Josa hadn't convinced them to give it another go. Coming up, two new islanders enter the villa. And Josa hooks up with someone. They're just telling me I'm going to? That's fine. Who does Josa hook up with? Find out for yourself. Don't let me spoil the surprise. You're wandering out to catch the last of the day's sunlight when you hear Jasper calling from the poolside. Guys, I got a text! Guys, text! What is it? Can we wash this paint off yet? Here it is. Islanders, the winner of the painting competition are Josa and Jasper. They may now wash off their paint and get ready for the party. Everyone else must stay as they are. The new Islanders will be arriving soon. Hashtag new Islanders, hashtag bittersweet win, hashtag art and graft. Wait, we have to meet the new Islanders while looking like this? Oh my god, this is a nightmare. At least you're in nice colors. I'm orange. Something's wrong with my game and she's not covered in paint. She's supposed to be like Cheeto orange. I'm so relieved that we won. I guess everyone liked ours. I don't know about that. I didn't vote for you, but some people must have. Why would you announce it? You, you want extra negative kudos? Like, good for you. Well, they liked ours more than whatever it was that Mason managed. Listen, I'm glad you two are getting along, but we don't have much time. We should get ready. This evening is going to be amazing. You notice a meaningful look flicker between Allegra and Jasper. I wonder if Mason and Allegra can really survive a scene like the one this afternoon. They say that they're trying to make their relationship work, but I wonder if either of them really believes it. I wonder how Mason's taking it all. You quickly shower, then rush to the dressing room to get ready. What shall I wear? Keep it cute play suit. Mmm... Go bold. Gold, bold, and sexy. Uh, nope. Uh, let's do the play suit. Perfect. Not really, but it's fine. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. One hour later, the islanders make small talk as they wait expectantly on the roof terrace. So excited. Maybe one of these arrivals is the boy for me. I just hope they've got banter, whoever they are. I think... I think someone's coming. Sure enough, you see a jeep pull up and a man jump out. Rohan, now I remember him. Okay. Hey, everybody. New Islander Rohan. Rohan, 23 from Wolverhampton. Psychology student, life goal, join a circus. He waves at you with both arms. The girls laugh. He's... Not bad. I can't wait to meet you all. He seems chipper. Look at him. He's well excited. As Rohan gets closer, another car pulls up and a figure steps out carefully. Cherry. Hey, boys. I remember her just because she's on the the picture, you know. New Islander Cherry. 20 from Suffolk, West End performer, the girl next door to the girl next door. <laughs> she flashes her sparkling white teeth and blows a kiss. Everyone shouts and waves. She looks gorgeous. Whoa. What do you mean, whoa? I just mean like nothing. They reach the front entrance and everyone ushers them into the villa. Cherry and Rohan stand by the poolside, the group clusters around them. Jen hands everyone a glass of champagne. Oh my god, it's so good to finally meet you all. I can't believe we're here. Have you guys met before? No, just now. Have you been watching the show? Yeah, of course. 
So you already know us all. Kind of, yeah. Who are your favorites? Yeah, that's the right question. Who do you think's the hottest guy in the villa? Hmm. As if she hasn't thought about it. I think... Her eyes scan the group. It's a toss-up between Mason and Levi. There's a hint of pride in Jen's eyes when Cherry says Levi's name. All right. Get in. The other boys look at one another and shrug. But my mind could be changed, you know? You're all much bigger in person. What about you, Rohan? Oh, it's easy for me. Hmm. Should we give him a little bit of attention? Uh, let's just look him in the eyes. He meets your eye and grins. It's Josa. I've thought that since the start, and her outfit is so amazing tonight. I really feel like dudes won't care. Like, like we put the emphasis on the- are her nails green? Have I not noticed that before? Have they always been green or they, do they change? Anyway, um, I feel like they honestly wouldn't care unless it's like something that accentuates something that they like, like hips or bum or boobs or waist, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like dudes aren't gonna be like, that is a beautiful romper. <laughs> They're just gonna be like, wow, you look amazing. <laughs> Rohan thinks I'm fit. Hmm, that's so nice. No, you're so nice. The level of this banter. You're not one to talk, mate. Erica laughs, then stops and covers her mouth. You hear Allegra tut. Erica squeezes your hand a little too hard. Typical Josa. What did Leggy just say? I'm gonna call her out. What are, you, what are you talking about? What did I even do? I just stood there. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by what, love? You just said typical Josa. Oh, I just mean like, it's nothing, babes. Everyone else crowds around Cherry and Rohan. You linger around the edges of the group. Everyone else is so distracted with the new arrivals. Now would be the perfect opportunity to snatch some alone time with someone. It's a perfect chance to do some serious grafting. You look around for Mason. Why? Given that Mason's still supposed to be with Allegra, he seems to be paying a lot of attention to Cherry. I guess there's no point in trying anything with him for a while. I don't want to. Why would they just... Whatever. Love Island writers. That whole situation is too hot to touch. You glance at Levi. He's standing near the back of the group. He gives you a nod and smiles. On the other hand, Jen is trying to find out everything she can about the new arrivals, so I bet I could get Levi by himself. The rest of the group are still focused on Cherry and Rohan. Everything the new arrivals say is met with peals of laughter. These new guys are going to shake things up. And the first recoupling can't be long now. You shake your head. I'm going to try and take someone to the roof terrace for some alone time. The only question is who? Levi. Dates over mates. After a few moments, you catch Levi's eye and nod towards a quiet corner. Great, nobody can see us here. Hey, what's up? Listen, we've clearly got something going on. Everyone's distracted right now. This doesn't happen often. Want to find a quiet spot somewhere and get some alone time? He thinks about it. It only takes a moment. Yeah, I do. Lead the way. You step onto the terrace with Levi and close the door. Nobody can see you from here, and you'll have plenty of warning if anyone comes. The nighttime air is cool. From down below, you can hear the chatter of the other islanders. It sounds like it's a very long way away. You look round at Levi. His face is softly illuminated by the light from the villa. You take two steps towards him. You kiss. You feel the tension in his arms ease. He relaxes. His lips part. He tilts his head and leans towards you, putting his arms around your waist. I've wanted this from the first time I saw you. Levi's wanted this all along. <laughs> you shush Levi. He takes the hint and without saying any more cheesy lines, he kisses you again. I don't like cheesy lines. <laughs> the first few kisses are long and slow. But slowly, the kisses become harder and faster. Suddenly, he stops and glances around. He's looking you in the eyes. So he looks around, but also at you in the eyes? <laughs> Do you want to go further? Are we going to go all the way? I think, um... No, honestly, just because he's still coupled up with Jen, which would be my real life thought process, but also I'm kind of not in the mood for reading something sexy right now. So, you know, my real self uh, decision would be no, because you're not in a couple, so pull back. Not right now, babes. He smiles and nods. You kiss him again. Wait, check this out. He pulls away from you for a moment. With one sweeping moment, he sweeps the pillows from the seats onto the floor in a rough pile. He crashes down onto the pile of pillows. Here, come cuddle up. As you settle in next to him, he puts his hand on the back of your head. You put your arms around his shoulders. God, he's beautiful. You kiss him again, and again, and again. Did we say God, he's beautiful out loud? 
Oh. Something happened. It skipped uh, a, a, a thing and also jumped to daylight. I think I said something like we should we should leave. Yeah, probably before Jen realizes something and... We need to talk about what just happened first. Yeah, that's fair. Listen, Josa, I really want to be with you. Why aren't we a couple? You know why. I can break up with her. I should go and do it right now. Levi wants to break up with Jen. You should! But if you just dump her out of the blue, it'll be an absolute nightmare. Why? You're allowed to feel what you feel and tell people. I'm not feeling our couple. I think we should break up. I want to explore other people. Huh? Simple as that. Yeah, you're right. I'll think about how to best do it. Levi furrows his brow for a second, then speaks up. So what should we do? Let's just wait for a couple days. There are new islanders. Maybe something will change. Maybe she'll fall for someone else, or... I don't know. It's your problem to solve. I don't want to hurt her, but I also know that you're the person I'm supposed to be with. I'm sorry all this stuff is getting between me and you. It won't be for long, I promise. Thanks. So, we play it cool for the moment? Secret romance? It's like Romeo and Juliet. That one has a happy ending, right? Is Romeo and Juliet a happy story? No, it's a tragedy. <laughs> oh, well, forget that then. We're not like Romeo and Juliet, we're like... He frowns. Why aren't there any romance stories with happy endings? I can't think of any. Well, it sort of makes sense. Happy endings aren't dramatic. People won't want to see that. Yeah, it's true. My nan loves those old movies where a bird in a frilly dress cracks on with some Jasper-looking guy. Her favorites are always the ones where you cry at the end. But we're not in one of those films. Happy endings happen in real life all the time. We'll be okay. I'm glad you think so. For sure. Let's get back to the party. You slip back downstairs. You and Levi return to the party from different directions to avoid suspicion. The islanders are spread out across the lawn in clicks. Levi gives you a meaningful look, winks, then walks off to join the others. Erica calls out to you. Hey, Josa, get over here. You sit on a beanbag next to her. You all right? Yeah, fine. Where did you vanish off to? Oh my god, was it obvious that I was off somewhere? No, not really. So were you off with a boy or something? Oh wait, Tim's coming. Tell me later. Tim wanders over and plonks down next to you. Erica swiftly changes the subject. So, Cherry seems fun. Yeah, she's a sort for sure. Tim likes the look of Cherry. She seems really cool. How can you girls tell this stuff? Is it her hair? There's not actually a secret girl code, we just know this stuff. There should be a code though. What are you guys chatting about? We were deciding whether we should just couple up with each other. What, for real? Sadly, no. Yeah, sadly, no. <laughs> As the party wears on, your eyes keep going to Levi. Jen has her arm around him. She holds her phone up in front of her and pouts. As the flash illuminates his face, you can see he's looking straight at you. Poor Jen, she doesn't know what's what. Still, all's fair in love and war. Time to get in my sleepwear. I'd better make it count, because that's what I'll be wearing in the morning tomorrow. What shall I put on? I think we were wearing the two-piece. Let's go back to the robe. Perfect. I wish they had more pajama options in season one, but also less is better because you don't have to pay for more. <laughs> Mason and Allegra clamber into bed together, same as ever. You wonder if it could have been different had you said something else earlier. I don't care. Eventually, everybody is tucked up in bed. Such a relief to finally wash off that body paint. Night, everybody. Good night. I'm so excited for the morning, you guys. Sleep well, everyone. Apologies if I snore. If you snore, I'm going to get in bed with Josa instead. What a melt. Blimey, what a day. Josa and Levi on the roof. So happy for the two of them finally getting together. I'm sure it'll be plain sailing for them from now on. Hmm. Also, pigs will fly, dogs and cats will live together, and Talia will go a whole 10 minutes without lying down by the pool. Coming up next on Love Island, Josa finds herself in the middle of a love triangle. We play a massive game of spin the bottle and the villa gets shaken up once again by the first recoupling of the series. I can't wait. All right, so I remember some of what's coming and it kind of makes me sad because things could be perfect with Levi, but they have to throw a spanner in the works, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be okay. This is gonna be fun, it's gonna be great. I forgot how nice season one was, very dramatic, but it like the toxicity isn't coming from you necessarily, so. I like it. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.